Hey loves, welcome back to my channel if you're new here. This is Nyara and if you've been here, thank you, thank you so much for supporting me. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to get this look, like the whole look from my hair, makeup and everything. I'm going to be showing you guys how to get everything to get that. Yes, yes. So yeah, with not no further ado, let's head to the video. So this is a semi-human wig. Love the fact that it's a front. I like to use this go-to-be spray and this go-to-be glue. Both of them do the work. They get the job done as expected. But um, as as per my opinion, I feel like. If I'm in a hurry and I want to put on my wig really, really quickly, I'm going to be using the go to be glue because I feel like this dries up faster. On a lot of my tutorials, I have been using this. You can still use this to have your lace laid, but I prefer using this. So, if my hairline is there, you can see my hair is around here. I'm going to be putting on the glue just a little bit on the front. Yeah, I'm just letting it dry a bit so after it's dry yeah don't let it dry dry so just let it be a little like sticky let it be sticky as this dries up I wanted to do my eyebrows so I like to trim a little bit I don't even know if I'm doing the right thing but I just like to trim it a little bit to make my work easier while doing my eyebrows later on. I think right now it's a bit sticky. It's sticky. So the process after should be you laying down your lace wig completely. So just press it down onto your skin so that it can lay as flat as possible. Then. I'm going to do my edges. Um, my edges are quite short on this wig. I cut them a little bit shorter because I wanted them to look more natural. So after doing your edges, you are just going to prep the hair. Remember, um, I don't know if I said this, but I had already flat ironed this wig before putting it on. Cause like I have my gel on my hair. So what I did is I just past my spoolie around where the gel is then comb them into the direction you want them to be so the gel helps the brows sit in place and trust me they will not move even an inch so after it's dry i went in with a dark eye pencil so for my corners and the edges i was using the davis number one eye pencil then at the front i'm going to be using a lighter shade of an eye pencil which is the brownish shade so you can use number three or number 18 on the front and the reason why it's because you want um you want these eyebrows to look as natural as possible they don't look like they're too drawn also, if you've noticed, I have not drawn the upper part around the front and that is because I want it to look as natural as possible and also around the tail of my eyebrows, I'll be using a concealer, a lighter shade of concealer, like at least a shade lighter than my actual shade, actual foundation shade. Then on the upper side of my eyebrows, I'm going to fix it with my foundation and also the front of my eyebrows, I'm going to fix it with my foundation. So that you can look as natural as possible. You do not want to look like you're just pasting in um, light colors on your brows. You just want to look normal, yes? So if you want natural eyebrows, guys, try this out and let me know in the comment section. So let's yes. get to uh, eye makeup look. So because we are going for the nude makeup look, I like to go in with a dark brown shade around my crease area. Then after that, I'm going to cut my crease and I used an eyeshadow primer to cut my crease and it's from Makeup Tools Kenya. You can check them out on IG. So after cutting my crease, you can see I try to blend in the lines with my cut crease shade, the brown shade. So I tried to blend the line so that it cannot look like it's a harsh cut crease. I don't know if you understand me. So I'm going to do my eyeliner. So first of all, I like to 
to make the two lines so you're going to make one line on top and another one at the bottom then after that you're going to shade it so as i'm doing my eyeliner i like to go in with the fierce cut eye look so i've seen this look on tiktok on tiktok they call it the syrian eye look but i like to go in deep with this look because it makes my eyes pop so uh before doing that i make sure i highlight my tear ducts i'm going to be using a nude color or a bright shimmery color around my tear duct then i'm going to go in with my eyeliner so if you want to get this look just follow the shape of your eyes at the front then just create a sharp look around the edges of your tear duct and i think that is just it i've tried my level best to explain but i feel like this is something visual so please just watch and try it out and let me know if it worked for you so when it comes to blending in your foundation i suggest you blend it in with your setting spray so i like to spray this setting spray on my brush then blend it in onto my skin another thing avoid using too much foundation on your forehead so what i like to do is the foundation that has remained on my brush after blending in foundation is what i'm going to use on my forehead only so do not use too much foundation because you do not want to look cakey and unrealistic so the next step is highlighting and i'm the worst worst person when it comes to highlighting i actually don't highlight my face most of the times because i feel like it's too much for me it's too much for me so i like to highlight then set it with my setting powder but i do not bake i also don't bake i just set like you pass through with the powder with the setting powder but not too much of it also pass through your smile lines while doing this and you'll thank me later so for my contour i like to contour by the way i'd rather not highlight my face but contour my face because sometimes i feel like my foundation is a bit lighter for me so i have to contour to make it look better and i have a contouring palette but you can also use a darker shade of eyeshadow if you have one it would also help then i feel like the blush helps bringing life to your makeup like i'm obsessed with blush these days i feel like it brings life to my makeup so i'm going to use <coughs> my powder finishing powder compact powder um whatever shade you feel like is close to your actual skin tone you're going to use it around your lace to make it look as natural as possible so ever you feel like you're seeing lace and the lace doesn't look like your skin tone just pass through some powder and it's going to be fine on to my lips i like doing my lips i love my lips so yeah i'm going to line my lips with the davis number one eyeliner that then went in with a dark brown shade on my upper lip because i like my upper lip darker than my lower lip then went in with a concealer and blended it all out you can see the ombre look coming in and it looks really, really amazing for some time i thought like let me just leave it like this but then i was like no this is not the look i wanted then again i line my lips trust me this will make your lips pop up then i used a light pink shade of eyeshadow on my lower lip i wanted to go for a very very light pink shade on my lower lip then used a purple gloss and a pinkish clear gloss and that's it with the lip tutorial and don't forget to set your face trust me setting your face changes a lot when it comes to your makeup so don't forget to set your face like just look at me then i like to put on my lashes after doing my makeup i feel like it's better like that and less messier for me because it all yeah i don't just, just i just don't like doing my lashes before doing my foundation and everything yeah so i put on my lashes i use the morning glue to put on my lashes then just set my face again oh my god i forgot to control my nose so i just passed some control powder around my nose and we are through with this tutorial just look at how good and amazing i look just look at me wow 
So sadly, this is the end of this video and I hope you guys have learned something new on this video. I thought let me just share my progress so far and how my makeup looks because everyone has been like, oh, do a full tutorial, do a tutorial on this or on that. So just thank you so much for tuning in and like I always say until our next video, thanks. Bye. Mm-hmm. <laughs>